Morning, girl. Good morning. How are you? I'm tired. <laughs> you and me both, girl. I've been sleeping like poo. Really? Yeah, I was off yesterday, but it was busy with the kids, of course. And then next week starts our telehealth, so I'll work from home some. That'll be nice. Yeah. Definitely. Is Chuck still working? Oh yeah, since he's on the farm. Ah, uh, what will you do with the girls when you're telehealthing? Oh, well, we don't know yet. <laughs> Cause we're going to try not to give to the babysitter now. Cause she's been doing, she's kept them like for a while, but um, we're just trying to limit the amount of people they're seeing. And um, he might just have to like come into the house some while I'm working. So did you get the bike from the gym? I did. <laughs> yeah, I feel like probably the thing I've used the most, I have jumped on the bike a little bit, but uh, I feel like we have a pull-up bar that I cut up when Jet was born. And I probably have like never used it in four years. Oh, really? Yeah, I've used it more this week doing strip pull-ups than I like ever have. Yeah. I'm glad we have our, I feel pretty lucky because we have our home gym. So yeah. yesterday I did one of the rocks conditionings and then like deadlifted. Um, but it's just hard. I work out in the playroom in the mornings because it's cold. <laughs> well, so that's kind of like, I'm like, I literally have on like two pairs of pants and two like sweatshirts because I'm like, hopefully soon it'll be, it'll be warm. Or not yeah. as old. Really in the morning. <sighs> right back. I'm gonna go grab a pin. How's the kids doing? Uh they're good. They're just like they're like Colin, not so much, but like Jet is so used to a routine that like every day he's like, is it a school day yet? Like it's yeah. Like, my day like he just kind of like doesn't get it and I'm also trying not to go like over in depth with like what's going on yeah because I'm like he, I mean he doesn't know and he it's like he just doesn't get it like I feel like he's doing better I feel like at the beginning of the week I feel like he was just kind of going a little crazy but I feel like it's almost like now he's it's like kind of adjusting again like this is our schedule yeah and then as soon as he gets used to it it'll be time to go back to normal i know i feel like it's definitely nice like <clears throat> seeing them so much but it's like really hard to get a lot of stuff done mm -hmm. yeah Is that music playing in your background? Oh, yeah, it's the sound machine for the baby monitor. Oh, I was like, what is that like calming? Oh, so sweet. Abigail, and so she's the heart. That's what I saw in Chuck is Riley, I can entertain pretty easily. Like, cause we did it. We've been doing, trying to do like preschool games and stuff. And Abigail's like, it's crazy. Yeah. I feel like Jet has done lots of Legos. Yeah. Riley's done lots of crafts. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel like Jet, like Jet loves crafts too. And so I'm like, yo, I'm running out of crafts. I don't yeah. know what to do. Target pickup. <laughs> yeah. Well, luckily, because I craft a good bit, like I have a little bit of everything here. 
Um, but not a, a ton of stuff. Is Nate, is Nate still working? He is. So he's actually uh, going, he's going into work. Okay. I feel like they, yeah. they deemed them, morning Joel, they deemed them essential. Like they've even sent Nate like a like a part like a, a travel pass. Like if it gets so bad, like have like a travel pass to be on the road. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they told us is to keep our work IDs and stuff, because I still have to go in some. Joel, how are you? I'm all right. I'm feeling pretty sore, but that's all right. How's the uh, online classes going? Um, they're pretty terrible. I was working up here for like five hours yesterday, and I didn't feel good about it when I turned it in. So I feel like all of the college kids I talk to seem that they're not loving the online classes. Yeah, I'm glad that it's not like a whole semester. Like at least we got some of it in person. Yeah. Because it definitely is not as enjoyable. And it's I like I'm really learning a whole lot. I'm just kind of completing assignments. Yeah. It's like all busy stuff rather than me actually taking the time to learn the stuff, which kind of sucks, but. I feel like I just struggle like online to learn stuff. Yeah, and like I hate sitting at my desk for a long period of time. I'll do like 15 minutes work and then go outside and walk around and do something else and then I'll get back to it and it ends up being like a whole day thing for me. Lolly, how are you, girl? Good. I got a little sunburn. Oh, <laughs> snap. Is <laughs> that outside from like, um, well, whenever Willa woke up from her nap, I think it was like 12 or 1230 all the way until like, Eight. It was so nice yesterday. So nice. I watched Peter Pan, Luki, and it was nice to be home, but I didn't work, so that was nice too. But I'm Do you go today. into work today? Yeah. Okay. I was off yesterday too, Lorley. Isn't it nice? Did you do anything outside? Oh yeah, we worked out and went for a walk. Morning. Just pointed out. Yeah, we went for yeah we went for a walk too, and I did crossover symmetry, so I could say it was like my active recovery day since <laughs> I didn't work out. Morning, Sprouts. Hey, Sean. I love teaching this six a.m. class because it's literally like I'm at five thirty a.m. It's like all the five five thirty. Connor, what are you doing up, dude? I'm doing the work. Are you really? I like it. He is motivated. I know I was Katie G would wake up and at this time. Work. Really. I, I wonder what time she does normally work out. Wait. So I told her to try to do the 6 a.m. Zoom, but I don't know. I always love it when Jacova comes on. No, no. Because when Jacova comes on, she's always like snuggled in her couch. She's always looking super comfy. <laughs> Morning, Ben. Morning. Hey, Ben. Morning. Oh, I like your flower banner. Oh, thank you. Ben, is your gym at home doing Zoom classes? Um, no, they're doing this. Uh, she'll send out workouts and then, but they're doing like a Zoom happy hour tonight. Nice. I feel like I almost consider doing a Zoom happy hour this evening. You got a line. 
Okay, I feel like I'd never heard of Zoom before, and now we're all getting very well versed. Me in it. neither, and I feel like a yeah. professional on it. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Is Riley already up? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, do you want to say hi to Miss Lauren? She's like, no. <laughs> Not a morning person. <laughs> What's Tracy been up to? Doing a Peloton? She's supposed to be um, joining us this morning. Oh, snap. I feel like she was definitely on one day last week. And I love it when she's on because she's just like dancing in the background. Like, like you can just see like good vibes like radiating out of her. And I love stalking her. Yeah, she's so good. We um, did. The Peloton ride on Wednesday. It was like a 45 minute ride before work. And then she was like, Yeah, we haven't done any of the Zoom classes this week. And I was like, Why well, did Monday? But you slept in, remember? <laughs> so maybe she'll show up this morning. She just texted me and said she was working on it. Oh, cool. I was going to say, like, I would totally talk, like, text stalk her. Um, but I was like, oh, is it too early? Is, it not? is um, Nate going to work out or Town Lake? Uh, I don't think either one. I think they're both sleeping. I think they're sleeping in this morning. Is Dana on or Scrub? Uh, so Scrub the other morning tried it, but I feel like if people, if like Justin's home or like the dog's home, if she was waking someone up because she was like, like I'm waking the whole house up. Oh. But D Bird's usually on here. Maybe she's resting. Yeah. <laughs> Is Michelle gonna work out, Sean? No, no. she's sleeping in. She's out. <laughs> what? I know Wayne's like snoring. Hopefully Luke stays asleep this morning. There's, there's Tracy. She's coming on. Oh. oh, hey, girl. So, funny story. Yesterday, we were working out in the garage. Yesterday evening. And it was like the first time I've touched a barbell in about probably a week. And literally no more than we're on our barbells, like my neighbor starts like wandering down the street. And I'm like, if we're already told to be quiet, like I'm going to die. But she was like, oh my goodness, what are y'all doing over here? You're fitnessing in the morning, you're fitnessing at night. <laughs> she was like, when this is all over, I want you to personal train me. So, oh, thanks. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I miss barbells so much. I know. Well, so, you can come over here and have him use this heavy one. This thing is heavy. <laughs> I'm telling you. This I'm is a conference call. Covers. I had a conference call with a student who was um, sitting outside on her porch and she was like, I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. My neighbors are like crossfitting or something. They won't <laughs> stop dropping barbells. And she was just complaining for like one minute. She's like, hang on, I just have to go inside. I can't even with these people. And I was like, uh. Oh, that's hilarious. That was so funny. Like, can I yeah. talk to them? Like, bring me over there. I know, I was like, where do you live again? <laughs> She said there's like six of them. I was like, that's not probably social distancing etiquette, but I don't blame them. Holy Ben. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, happy Friday. The good news is, is that we are, we are one week in. What is the difference between Friday and Saturday? Right? 
I don't feel obligated to get on my email on Saturday. <laughs> Me too, and I don't have to get up at 6 a.m. So we all get to sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> what is sleeping in? Yeah, I don't know that. Sean, are your kids already awake? <laughs> well, Scott, Connor's always awake. Oh my gosh. I'm yeah. sorry. You reap what you sow. <laughs> I want to get that 545. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, we are going to go ahead and start with a warm up. And we're going to start with three minutes. And we're going to go a 10 factorial of air squats and air squats and high knees each side. So we'll start with 10 air squats, 10 high knees each side, nine air squat or nine air squats, nine high knees each side, eight, seven, six, all the way down to one. If you get to one before we get to the time is up mode, I want you to take it into alternating Spider-Mans. But we're gonna go three minutes. If we are not finished by the three minutes, we'll end at three and we'll move on to the next thing. We're gonna go in about 30 seconds. So if you need to move, readjust, all that good stuff. Tracy, I'm so excited you snuck in here. I love seeing your smiling face in the morning. Alrighty guys, so we start with 10 air squats. We are going in three, two, one, and go. After your 10 air squats, you have 10 high knees each side. I want you to think a fast pace here. Really try to be aggressive on the, the pace. Think about getting the knees as high as your hips. And then we have nine air squats. Think on your squats, really try to maintain hitting that full depth. So try to break that crease of your knee. And on your high knees, really think aggressive. Goal here is to get that heart rate going. Have about 50 seconds here, 50 seconds. Again, if you finish, go ahead and take it into Spider-Man's each side. Try to get the knees high. Think instead of a run in place, it's a high knee. So I want your knees to get as high as your hips. We have 15 seconds. Three, two, one, and take it to your to the ground if you're not already there. We're gonna start with three push-ups, three shoulder taps. 
three push-ups, three shoulder taps. We're gonna complete this for one minute. So go ahead and take it into your push-ups. After you've done your three push-ups, we're gonna go three taps each side. These push-ups can be hand release or strict, but on the shoulder taps, it's three taps each side. Don't rush the shoulder taps. Think about trying to keep your hips as square to the ground as possible. You have 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Walk the hands in. We're going to take it to inchworms. No push up here. Just walking the, the arms out, getting the shoulders warm, getting those hamstrings stretched out. Five more seconds. Go ahead and stand it all the way up. We're going 30 jumping jacks. Try to keep your arms straight on the jumping jacks just because that's gonna be a better warm up for your shoulders. 30 jumping jacks. Once you've done your 30, begin step over deadlift walks. Or if we don't have a ton of space, you can go that heel sweep. But think the goal here is to get that hamstring stretch. We're going to go one more each side. And then we have 10 arm circles to the front. So think big circles can start small and then start to build in size. Once you've done 10 to one direction, go ahead and reverse to the other direction. And then once you've done 10 there, we have 30 more jumping jacks. After your 30 jumping jacks, I'm gonna have you take it down on one knee. We're gonna take it into your Samson stretch. So on your Samson stretch, try to keep your chest tall. And instead of leaning forward, I want you to think about squeezing your back butt cheek so that you get that stretch in your front hip flexor. Gonna hold here about five more seconds. And then bring your front foot a little farther away from your back leg and then drop the front elbow down to the inside of your ankle. Gonna take it into a version of your Spider-Man. Whatever feels best here, you can rotate the hip, you can just try to sink down to the floor. If you wanna add that rotation towards your front leg, 
can do that as well. And next, sit it back on your back heel, pull that front toe up. We're gonna go that hamstring stretch. and switch sides. So we'll start with that Samson stretch. So again, on your Samson stretch, think sit tall and use that back, that back leg, squeeze that butt cheek to get that hip flexor stretch. Good morning, Riley. And then bring your front foot a little bit farther away from the back leg. Drop that elbow down. Again, you have a couple options here. You can go into those hip rotations, can focus on just sinking down into the ground, can add in those rotations towards the front leg. And then go ahead and sit it back on your back, your back foot. Alrighty guys, wanna stretch out your chest. So go ahead and take it down to your stomach, arms out to that iron cross. Think right arm out, use that left hand and that left leg to leverage your body over. And go ahead and shift to the other side. Alrighty guys, go ahead and shake it out. Bring it to your screen. I'm gonna go over the workout and then I'll unmute it. Um, today we have 16 minutes and we're gonna go every minute on the minute, the same two moves. So one of the moves is a, um, a new move. We have a lunge squat. And so essentially it's gonna be a reverse lunge right, a reverse lunge left into a squat. Um, as far as equipment, if you have a barbell, I really push you to use the barbell. Think the, the purpose of this workout should be lifting to the point of getting your heart rate pretty out of control. Um, I'm gonna try to do this with like 65 pounds. So if you have a barbell um, and have some weight, I would say if that's a possibility to definitely try that with that. If not, could do this with one dumbbell or two. But we have five of that combo and it's gonna look like this. I've got here, reverse right, reverse left, squat. If you prefer to step forward, could step forward, that would be two. If you only have one dumbbell, you'll alternate each round. So one round you would hold it with the right, other round you would hold it with the left. You have the barbell or go in front rack. Once we complete, five of those, we have 10 push press. So just that dip drive. If you have barbell, regular push press, 
If you have two dumbbells, we've got a regular double dumbbell push press. If you only have one dumbbell, we're going five push press on the right, five push press on the left. So it's five and 10 is your rep scheme, but I want this to take every bit of 40 to 45 seconds. So if you are finishing super quickly, I want you to add another one of those um, lunge squats in there or add two push press. So I don't want it to be something that you're flying through. I want you to feel like at the end, your heart rate is up and you have like a, a good load for you. I'm gonna unmute in case anybody has any questions. Any questions? Is 95 good for barbell for guys or? Yeah, I would say that'll be a good, a good push. So for girls, 65, and then you would just keep it in the front rack when you're doing the lunge squat. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So I think it'll literally be like front rack lunge, front rack lunge, front squat. Okay. If you have two sets of dumbbells, I, like, I challenge you to go a little heavier on this one, or at least start a little bit heavier, and then we could drop back if we want to. Does anybody not have any dumbbells? <laughs> Becca Sly taking the living room workout to a whole new level. Hey, what are you doing? John Hess, are you good? All right, can you say the sequence one more time? Yeah. So it's. Really? It's five. Five lunge squats. So one lunge squat is going to be a lunge, lunge, squat. You'll do that five times and then you have 10 push press. If you are going a barbell and you feel like I want the lunge squats to be kind of the, the harder part, if you end up needing to change that push press to a push jerk, can also do that as well. Jacoba, you could do all of your push presses if you're going on the dumbbell on the good arm or like watch the volume, like one round go five, five, next round go all 10. And there's no body weight stuff on this. It's just the, the movement. Exactly. <laughs> So, Lauren, if it's a, if we just have one dumbbell, is it five push presses on each side or ten yes. on each side? On each side. Okay. Connor, do you have a dumbbell? Oh, heavy. What's up, Warren? Does Connor have a dumbbell? I'm going to have him do body weight. The, the other thing that you could do is go body weight and have him go push ups instead of the push press. Uh, cool. I like that. Sound good? Thanks, Lauren. You're welcome. Fishers, are you guys close? Yeah, we're good. Joel, are you close?
How about a thumbs up if you're ready? Ready to go, Lauren. Okay. Guys, we're gonna say as soon as Joel pops on, he must have had the nervous pee. He got nervous about this one. So we got 16 minutes, and it's the same reps every single minute. So we got 16 minutes. I've got you on mute if you need anything. Give me a wave. Joel, you good? Okay. Alrighty, guys, we are starting in 30 seconds. If you have a clock, you want to start it, totally can. Turn your tunes up. This one's going to get spicy. You got 20 seconds. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Again, it's lunge right, lunge left, squat. A little hint, when you come back from your second lunge, go right into that wider squat stance. You have 15 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. If you have a barbell, I want you to bump it to four if you feel like you're struggling to get in that minute. Four of those lunge squats, and then six to eight push press. I want you to have at least 10 to 15 seconds recovery. Nice job, Sprouse. You got it, Sierra. Come on, Sierra. 30 seconds, guys. Nice, Tracy. 15 seconds. This is very hard. <sighs> Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Again, if you have the barbell and need to cut your rep reps back, cut your reps back. If you have a lighter dumbbell, you can totally add reps. I want you to have about 15 seconds before that next round. Nice, Becca. Think elbows high. You have 30 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Nice, Jenny. Nice job, Tracy. Nice, Laura Lee. The lunge squat should be getting into that flow. Think it's lunge right into that lunge, right into that squat. 30 seconds. Nice job, Ben. Three. 
15 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and begin. Go guys, here we go. Think wanna pick it up and roll. Nice job, Sprouse. Nice, Joel. Nice job, Katie Fisher. Nice job, Tracy. Think big, tall chest, chest Tracy. Add a girl, Laura. Twenty seconds. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Come on, guys. Here we go. Pick it up. Nice job, RJ. Nice, Sierra. So Sierra, I want you to think that the lunge and the push presses are in the same minute. You guys have about 25 seconds. Nice job, Jacoba. 15. Nice job, Sprouse. 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, one, and go. Nice job, Jenny. Nice, Katie. Nice job, Ben. Think on those lunges. Keep that chest tall. Nice, Becca. You got it, Becca. Come on, Becca. 30 seconds. You got 30 seconds. Nice job, Tara. Tara, if those are light, go 10 each side and do them at the same time. There you go. 15 seconds. Nice, Katie Fisher. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Nice job, guys. Should be into the groove where you know what rep scheme works for you. Five of those lunge squats can totally bring that down to three or four. And then give me some push presses right after. Aim for six to 10 based off what you have. Nice job, Joel. Change it to a push jerk if you need to. 20 seconds. Here we go, Sean. Nice, Mike. 10 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, one, go. Nice job, Jacoba. Come on, Tracy, pick it up, Tracy. You got it, Becca. Nice, Sprouse. You got a Joel. 30 seconds. Nice, Tracy. Think elbows high, Becca. 20 seconds. 
Even if you need to go body weight on the lunge squats, grab your dumbbells or barbells for the push press. Think that can be almost like your active recovery round. You have seven seconds. Five, three, two, one, and go. Nice job, Sean. Come on, RJ, pick it up, RJ. Nice, Laura Lee. Think, keep your weight over that center of gravity. Try not to lunge too far forward, too far back. Should be a light step right back into that squat position. 30 seconds. Nice, Becca. Come on, Becca. Hang on it, Becca. 15. Yes, Becca. Nice job, Tara. 10 seconds. Nice, Sierra. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Nice job, Tracy. Thirty seconds. Nice, Jacoba. Nice, Katie Fisher. You have 10 seconds, guys. Five, three, two, one, go. We are just crossed the 11 minute mark. So you have five rounds left. We got five rounds. Modify the reps, change it to body weight, but try to stay moving. Nice, Jacoba. Nice job, Becca. Nice, Tracy. Nice, Larley. Add a girl, Tara. Nice air squats. We've got 30 seconds, guys. Nice job, Mike. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one, and go. You have four minutes, guys, four minutes. Nice, Katie. Nice job, Jenny Devers. Way to stay moving, guys. Nice job, Ben. 15. Nice job, Connor. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. We've got three minutes, guys. Three minutes. Nice job, Joel. Way to stay moving, guys. Don't hesitate to modify this. I want you staying moving for the last three minutes. Nice job, Jacoba. Nice, Laura Lee. Nice job. You got it, Sprouse. You got it, Sprouse. 20 seconds.
10 seconds. You have two minutes left. Three, two, one, and go. Come on, guys. Last two minutes, I want you to stay strong on it. Come on, Sprouse. You can pick it up, Sprouse. Come on. Nice, RJ. Nice job, Becca. Nice, Tracy. 30 seconds. Fifteen. Out of voice, Brass. Alrighty, guys, your final minute coming up in five seconds. This is it. Three, two, one, and go. Last minute. Nice job, Sierra. Nice, Mike. Atta girl, Jenny. Thirty seconds. Here we go, guys. This is it. Last round. 10 seconds, five, three, two, one, and relax. I'm nervous to unmute. Ben, with your dumbbell, were you able to maintain five and 10 the whole time? Ben. Um, I had to do four and ten. Four and ten? With a 45 pound dumbbell. Jacoba, were you able to stay five and ten? What about Sierra? Five and ten? Yeah, I went between a 15 pound dumbbell and a 20 pound dumbbell. Okay. Team Fish, Katie with an empty barbell. What were you, what rep schemes were you doing? So I did four and 10, but we rode in between. So I only did eight round, like did a round and then rode. I did 10 cows in between. Okay. Uh, Sprouse, were you going five and eight? No. no. <laughs> what do you mean? No. What were you able to maintain? Like four. Four and eight. Uh, I was, that was embarrassing. Yeah, that hurt so bad. That's like, terrible. Fully changed it. Laura, what were you I able to hold on to? Barely three and seven. Then I switched to three and six. I was a uh, very ambitious. Went so in the with first round. I think I did. <sighs> Big mistake. That was hard. Shit. Yeah. And I really realized that we had a good workout. Yeah. I thought it was a minute off. Yeah. Oh yeah. I said yeah, sorry, first, 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 Oh. Yeah, at first I felt that scaling it and then I was like, no shame. No shame. No. Well, I feel like everybody was giving me like the like oh. <laughs> I was like, y'all change the numbers, change the numbers. Uh, so in just uh, ten push press on and ten push press on the other minute. I could not handle it. Uh uh. Do an experiment. Okay. Well more of the story is we got a good yeah. workout <laughs> for the four thirty. <laughs> And I kept, in my head, I kept cussing oh, Nate, <laughs> not being there right now. Oh my God. <laughs> like, Nate Damn dog. Oh my God, he'd be like, <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to go over the cash out. And then you two oh, wait, more. So we do have some more work. We have four sets of 10 of bent over rows and good mornings. So we can do this with a barbell or we can do this with a dumbbell. I'm going to show you with the dumbbell first. For the bent over rows, I'm going to tip at the hip 
I'm going to pull up to the side of my rib cage and down. If I only have one dumbbell, I'm going to kind of anchor on one leg and do the same thing. I'll pull it up all the way up. For the good mornings, we're just going to go one dumbbell on that back rack. I'm going to hinge at the hip all the way up. So just kind of like we normally would with a barbell, except I have the one dumbbell. If you have a barbell, the bent over row is the same thing. Barbell will just be down in front. I'm pulling the barbell to my rib cage all the way down and then a normal good morning like we do on the back rack. We have four sets of 10 of these and these are gonna be at your own pace. We're gonna set a clock for like 10 minutes. Um, try to stay flowing, but these don't have to be a big sprint. Anybody have any questions? Um. Okay. Tracy, how you doing over there? Oh, good, great. <laughs> that workout was so hard. Katie, did you say that y'all did rowing in between? So we did like, well, Mike started off doing it as written, but I was like, I'm just gonna row. Like, so I did a round and then I would row 10 cows and then do the round. So I did like eight rounds each, but about halfway through Mike switched to rowing. <laughs> I totally lost out. Like I was kicking my butt. <laughs> So we could do empty barbell on this? Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Could go empty barbell, could go weight, could go a heavy dumbbell, could go two light dumbbells, whatever you prefer. And it's four by ten for each. Four by ten. So alternate between, do one set of the good mornings and then one set of the rows so that you're not doing all of one and then all of the other. Okay. The last thing that we have today, guys. Uh. Perfect. Nice job keeping that back super straight, Joel. Looks good. Think on the good mornings and those bent over rows. You should have a superhero chest. Like that chest should be very tall and proud. Almost like you're trying to squeeze your shoulder blades onto your back. Both should also have a nice, nice Becca. Both should have a nice soft knee. Try to bend over a little bit more if you can, Becca. There you go. See ya, thanks Lauren. See ya Jenny, have a good day at work. Thanks. Nice. Sear, try to keep your chest a little taller, almost like you're trying to stick out your chest as you're hinging over. I want you to think on the bent over rows. I should not be able to see your body move up and down. So I want you to think once you have maintained that nice neutral spine, you, you hold that spine for the entire row. So don't use your body to kind of like, should not be heaving up and down should stay very, very stationary and focus on using your back muscles to pull the bar up. Becca, if you could hinge a little, yeah, there you go. And just think tight core, and it's almost like if I had my fingers in between your shoulder blades, you're trying to squeeze my fingers as you pull that bar up. Nice job, guys. Think on those good mornings, soft bend in the knee. Take your gaze with you. So don't try to like look up. Try to keep that spine nice and straight. Don't rush these, take your time.
Nice tarot. Nice job, Joel. Nice, Mike Fish. Nice, Laura Lee. Think about keeping those, those rows nice and controlled. Those are like your bro sesh for the day. Nice good morning, Sprouse. Once you have finished your four rounds, you can go ahead and just have a seat and take it into some stretching. Try to go a little lower if you can, RJ. Nice. Nice job, Sierra. Again, once you're done, go ahead and just take it to the ground for some stretching. I feel like a Spider-Man, a pigeon, Maybe a child's pose, Cobra. Try to lean over a little bit more, Sierra. Yeah, there you go. Almost like prop your body on that front leg. Nice work, guys. If you have not already taken it to a child's pose, let's go ahead and take it to a child's pose. And if you are not finished, go ahead and take your time. You got plenty of time. Nice, Sierra. We're going to hold this child's pose for about 45 more seconds.
If you want to walk the hands right and left to get that lat stretch. Could even try taking the knees a little bit wider. And then go ahead and bring your right leg through. We're going to finish on a pigeon stretch. Let's go one minute each side. I'm also going to unmute. So that was a hard one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like I did horrible. <laughs> yeah. We'll blame it on Nate. I complete that. I think this might be a day of rest for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like I could see it. there was a, a huge difference between the barbell and the dumbbell. It's like if you had the barbell, it was yeah, like you haven't done anything in, with the barbell in how long? I just <laughs> that was brutal. That just felt extra hard. The barbell. I was so I feel like we did some cleans and some jerks last night. I literally was like grunting. <laughs> like moaning and Nate was like I love it when you get all like when it's so heavy you gotta like grow and I'm like it's not even that heavy I just haven't held on to a barbell in a yeah. week and I feel like I'm dying switch legs thinking it was gonna be the lunge part gonna be like body weight and then you're like do it for weight I was like oh crap <laughs> right same Murphy's I was ball. trying to have the people with the barbell because the dumbbells look like the dumbbell people were cruising but the barbell, I was like, even if you alternated and did a round with the barbell and then a round body weight and then did the push presses. Yeah, make you do like that. That's the only way I could do it. I did my barbell, which is like 15 pounds. And then I did heavy dumbbells on the other rounds. It was like a rest with the light dumbbell. <laughs> I was really Beck, Beck was getting pretty around. annoyed with me the peanut gallery in the corner. Uh, <laughs> like either go back to bed or pick up a barbell. Uh, yeah. There you go. That's what husbands are for. Alrighty, team. You guys have a fabulous Friday. You too. We'll Thank see you. At 9 a.m. for any of y'all that have kids. We'll see you at 9. Okay. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Lauren. See you guys.